Hello and welcome, I am the Soul Enchantress. And welcome to this message that is three-part. It is a look at the year in review. And I also thought I'd share my money philosophy with you after being in business as the Soul Enchantress for many years and how it's evolved and what it is at the moment. And also speak with you about the new year and new beginnings. Okay, so we are coming to one of my favorite parts of the year, which is the end of the year leading to a whole new and wonderful beginning. Okay, so this year in review, there's a few things that I wanted to touch on and that I am truly grateful for. So I wanted to share this message with all of you and also to say thank you to every single one of you that has been a part of the Soul Enchantress journey and business this last year. So this year, um, I actually started the year by releasing my book, When Worlds Align, a spellbinding real life tale of sorcery in business and life. And that turned out to be a whole journey in itself. There are many articles in my magazine that you can read about the journey of my book and how it became a underground sensation with global business leaders and entrepreneurs and high achievers as well as those who don't run businesses and how incredibly um, helpful it has been for many many people and thank you to every single one of you who bought it so i released my book and then i also launched the soul enchantress magazine as a way of keeping in touch with you and in the magazine Everything that I speak about and everything that I offer and the main portal for all of my work and my brand is my website, soulenchantress.com. So if you want to look at the magazine, that's where you have to go. Um, And so the magazine is a way for me to release public messages, um, whether it is an article or a recorded message. Um, on a monthly basis so that you can um, step into my world in a very uh, relaxed way. And then the most exciting thing this year I thought was my book and then the magazine came but really introducing my cosmic sound temple to the world and giving clients access to my sacred wisdom library and cosmic sound temple was another huge milestone and I am really truly grateful. I also realized that this year more than any other year and I know I know at the end of every year you may do this too I look at what the beginning the middle and the end of the year and how the different patterns and the cycles have come about and what was begun and what was seeded and what has grown and what needed to be let go and um, what has died um, what is actually beginning and what new growth is coming out so I always do this kind of introspective um, look at the year but more than anything and every year I always realize that I've Um, morphed and evolved in incredible and quantum jumps in my abilities, in my power, in, in the work that I offer the world and in who I have become and am becoming as a cosmic sound alchemist, a sorceress, a seer, a shaman and as a human being and a galactic soul I've realized that every year, yes I am Uh, stepping more and more into the work that I'm meant to do in the world but this year more than ever I realized I've actually stepped into my greater destiny which has always been to see the 
earth and its waters with my cosmic energy and my cosmic sound medicine has become the forefront of that work and this is a journey that began when I was four years old and I started speaking cosmic languages well that is my earliest remembering of speaking cosmic languages and um, introducing the the beginning of the co my cosmic medicine journey sound me my cosmic sound medicine journey when I was four years old it probably began way before that but my specific memories are are from when I was four years old so this journey is something that I've been on and most if you're a client of mine you have been introduced to my cosmic sound medicine but it has taken on a whole other stratosphere of power effectiveness and results and it I feel truly blessed and immensely humbled and utterly grateful that high profile global business leaders entrepreneurs high achievers just to name a few place their trust in me to bring through this cosmic sound medicine for them so that it impacts their lives their businesses their money and their health in incredible and powerful ways to the point where it is tangible visceral and deeply deeply moving and fulfilling for every one of them and as you would know if you've known me for a while anything and everything that I offer the world and my clients I always partake of myself so my cosmic sound medicine is something that is a deeply ingrained sacred practice of mine and has been for many years but it has actually taken on an even bigger role in my life and my daily sacredness and my ritual so that is in a nutshell the year in review that I wanted to do and as always it's a year where I have deeply practiced creating prosperity and blissful living and making money and being successful while I relax and rejuvenate and this is my message and this is my ethos and this is what I advocate to every single one of my clients that steps in to work with me. So now I would like to change gears so to speak and um, reflect and give you um, a little inside peek into my money philosophy and this again is not something that's new but it is something that I have practiced and it is something that I adhere to and it is something I believe in and it has been a part of my life for many years but again as with everything every year tends to be an elevation and a whole new evolution to my money business and lifestyle just like it is for the clients who work with me regularly so my money philosophy I believe in a blessed and I speak about this all the time especially if you're in my um, sacred wisdom library and cosmic sound temple if you've got access to that all of my messages are to do with this and I believe in a blessed inflow of money I believe in a blessed accumulation of money and I believe in a blessed outflow of money and I call this my blessed river of money and as I also advocate that you fall in love with the energy and the currency and the current of money if you want to be truly successful wealthy rich and experience financial bliss and if you want to know what I mean by financial bliss there is a article in my magazine that you can read and so with the blessed inflow of money this is where the money that comes in 
uh, in terms of revenues. And I call this a blessed inflow because every single person that steps into work with me, and it doesn't matter at what level they step into work with me, whether it is one of my um, high-flying, high-profile business leaders or whether it is a, um, uh, a stay-at-home mum who may decide to step into my sacred wisdom library and cosmic sound temple to create a more blissful lifestyle for themselves and their family. The, the, the revenue that flows in, the money that flows in is blessed because those who work with me are so grateful for the results and the effects that my work has on them that when they pay me, they are truly grateful for it and they're literally blessed the money. And this is something I practice in everything that I actually give out or whatever it is that I buy or spend or invest um, and even when I save money. So this is the blessed inflow and the blessed accumulation is obviously whatever I invest in and it accumulates in my life um, as well as money savings. And I truly, truly, truly believe that when you have a blessed inflow of money and then the accumulation of your money is also blessed, it just has a completely different vibrational frequency and resonance. And then it begins to attract more of the same, more blessed money. And it literally has a different resonance and a different energetic feel to the money than when it is not and I notice this all the time and the money is more likely to stay with you and grow than for it to leak out like a, a bucket with a hole in it which most people experience regardless of what level of revenue they generate or what level of wealth they have and then the third point of it is the blessed outflow and this is when I invest in my business or I, I invest um, or I buy something which may be, you know, uh, something that may be uh, frivolous in terms of I could be a beautiful meal that is super expensive or something that I think is beautiful and I'd like to place it in my home. But I actually don't spend frivolous. Um, I don't spend money frivolously. Um, to me, everything is an investment because I believe in quality versus quantity so when I actually buy anything even if it is um, a cup of tea the money that goes out because any money that I spend coming from my coffers as I call it is already blessed right so it's come in blessed it accumulates blessed and therefore when I send it out when I spend that money when I give it to another business when I give it to another person that is blessed money that is going out from me and to that other person, to that other business. Do you understand? So it's a whole river of blessed money. And this is one of the crucial things that I have practiced and it makes all the difference. And I have run businesses before um, when I was a fashion designer and it not didn't necessarily have all three components of the blessing in it all of the time. But, but with this business, and me being the soul enchantress, it always has been. And I have noticed the most massive difference on how it blesses my money, my business, my lifestyle, and even my health. Um, okay, and then the other part I wanted to speak about is about the, my money philosophy is that um, how I invest in tangible and intangible um, assets. And when you say tangible assets, it's, you know, the regular, whether it's real estate or houses, um, or I also put the, the tangible assets um, in things that I buy that are tools for my business. So obviously, you know, I am a cosmic sound alchemist and if I buy some type of uh, a tool that I use for my sound medicine, I consider that to be a tangible asset because that tool will multiply the revenue that comes in blessed. But that tool has been gotten through the exchange of blessed money from my coffers, as I call it. I hope that makes sense to you. And then intangible assets, I, um, I um, also, with the intangible side of accumulating assets, I believe in investing, in expanding my consciousness and my mind. So I will invest in 
in um, things that um, I believe expands my consciousness and my mind and more often than not they actually end up being things that it might be a book or it could be um, uh, taking a holiday in a place that I am called to like I did go on holiday to the Cotswolds um, because I actually had to go there I had this deep calling within me and so that to me it, I consider that to be an intangible asset and it was a, a beautiful luxurious holiday because that's just how I lived my life and that holiday obviously there were so many things that came out of it that added to the revenue stream of my business however I didn't go for that I went because my soul called me and literally propelled me to visit a certain location etc etc so I mean in this case it was the Cotswolds um, so th to me and that expanded my consciousness and my mind in in very intangible ways but I still consider that to be an asset and the other ways I always um, consider my cosmic sound medicine um, for relaxing and rejuvenating and how it impacts money business lifestyle and health in incredible ways to be a huge huge investment as well so that's the intangible side and obviously my clients consider my cosmic sound medicine to be their intangible asset um, I hope that makes sense to you um, and now I just wanted to like really quickly because I've been speaking for a while really quickly touch on the dawn of new beginnings a new year and how I am truly, truly, truly grateful and incredibly excited and looking forward to the infinite possibilities that the promise of this new year holds as well as the exquisite beginnings of a new phase and a new level of growth and a new level of success and a new level of my soul's evolution and my company and my business's evolution and my clients and their lives and their businesses and their money and their lifestyle and their health and the evolution of that. So stay tuned because there are a few things I will be introducing in the new year and I hope that this message finds you blessed and well and loved and healthy and wealthy and that you have an incredible and joyous festive season and a beautiful new year joyous blessings i am the soul enchantress and i invite you to step into my sacred wisdom library and cosmic sound temple by visiting soulenchantress.com joyous blessings <laughs>